To allow Jared's spinal cord to once again signal his legs to move voluntarily, Dr. Kendall Lee surgically implants a small computer-controlled stimulator. The device is already FDA approved for treating pain and was granted special approval for this clinical study. The electrode's many contacts are very carefully positioned inside the vertebrae, between the bone and the spinal cord, below his level of injury. Called epidural stimulation, mild electrical current is directed to the specific nerves needed to activate the muscles. It definitely feels like science fiction. Flex, 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 Without flex, the stimulator flex. activated, Jared was still at the mercy of his injury, but once switched on, the response was immediate. The first day they turned it on, it was almost mind-blowing because it was like right away I was able to move my toes. Something I haven't seen in a while, you know. <laughs> We're really excited because our results uh, went beyond our expectations. Okay, we're at 5 8 right now. A remote wand allows the stimulator beneath the skin of Jared's abdomen to be fine tuned. Adjustments to electrical signal strength and the areas of the spinal cord being activated bring even greater progress. This has really set the tone for our post surgical rehabilitation, trying to use that function to drive even more return of function. We're now in the process of training this patient to see whether or not he can have what's called stepping motion. Can he step? Lift the leg, kick the foot out. Lift the leg, kick the foot out. That's pretty much what I'm saying to myself every step. We're collecting quantitative measures so that we can get some real evidence about what's changing, if anything, during the rehab. If what they learn could help others, Dr. Lee says the potential population that could benefit numbers in the millions, and not just by getting them on their feet again. We're now looking at, can we help these patients, not only volitional Left. movement, Left. but other autonomic functions, Left. such as bowel, bladder, and sexual function. Right. Jared says because his core strength has improved, his balance seems better. He's amazed to see muscle mass returning to his legs, and he welcomes any improvements in function that reinforce his independence.